evening, everybody. So, I've been asked if I would share how I use some of my canning and dehydrated stuff. Well, I'm going to show you some canned items just because well, I'll show you here in a second. Sorry, I'm kind of off to the side there. So I've got my stewing beef here. I'm actually going to use the fat, the juice. I'm going to use all of it. Just making myself like a nice simple soup. And I have my jar of carrot. Oh, can you see that? Yeah. My jar of carrots and potatoes. I'm actually going to drain that and rinse it off. So just, I'll be one second. Okay. And all of a sudden my cat decided she needed to be underneath of my feet. So I'm going to add the potatoes and the carrots to this. And this is going to be my dinner. I probably will not eat all of this. I'll probably save some of it for um, lunch tomorrow or something. I'm going to get the heat onto this. But that is definitely not enough veggies for my liking. So I am just going to... Add a handful of, well, not really a handful, but I'm going to add a little bit of zucchini to this. Mm, that's good. And then I'm going to add just a little bit more carrot. And I do mean a little bit, like yay much of carrot. I'm not going to add any green beans or anything like that. Okay. Oh, but I should add some... What's that stuff called? Um, cabbage. Cabbage. I'll add some dehydrated cabbage to this. Okay. So now what I'm going to do... is I'm going to put a lid on this and let this cook. That should be enough liquid to rehydrate everything I have in there. And I haven't added any salt, pepper, you guys have seen that, I've added nothing. I don't even think, I don't even think there's salt in the meat. I know there's no salt in potatoes in that, so I may be adding salt to this. But, I'm gonna put a lid on this and I'm gonna let this cook for about 10, 10 minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is up to boil. It's gone for about 10 minutes. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to shut it off. Let me do that now. I, haven't add, I still haven't added any spices or anything to it. I'm going to leave it for another probably 10 minutes or so so the vegetables can finish absorbing some of that liquid. So we'll be back in another, in a few more. Okay, so everything is sat for another 10 minutes, and you can see there's a carrot. Oh, hold on. Here we go. There's a carrot. It's rehydrated enough, but if I were to cook this longer, it would have rehydrated more. Uh, what else did I put in there? Oh, the zucchini. Hang on, let me get a piece of that. What do you need, Nathan? No, I'm going to start washing the dishes. Oh. Okay. There's a piece of the zucchini. Okay, so there is the zucchini. But now I'm just going to put some salt and pepper in this and we're going to see if I need to add anything else. A little bit of pepper. Where's my pepper? There it is. a spoon. Let me grab a spoon. I have a little mouth. I'm not like you. You have a little mouth? I have a little mouth unlike you. Yep. Okay. You Let's just mouth. give this a taste here. Mm. Yummy. You won't like it's beef. I don't like anything. Yum. 
trying to think. I don't know if it needs anything. I don't think it really does. But I am going to put a little bit of dill in it. I put dill in a lot of things because I like the taste of dill. And I have a little girl that is stalking the door beside me here. Okay, let's give that a... Mm. Yep. Okay. So, I'm now going to go and have my dinner. Kids have eaten. Now I'm going to go eat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little, I guess, uh, cook with me. Use pantry items. I don't know. I'll figure something out for it. But I hope you guys have a good one. Bye.